Welcome to our lecture online and here's our third lesson in how to integrate. In this case we're going to show you how to integrate a polynomial. So here we kind of combine what we've learned in the first couple of lessons uh, and then there's something in addition here. So what do we do when we have for example two terms that are added together forming a polynomial? Well it turns out we can actually rewrite that as two integrals separated like that. So ax to the n power times dx plus the integral of bx to the m power times dx. So we can actually separate each term into its own separate integral. And then applying the rule that we learned before, we can actually take the constants, assuming a and b are constants, and move them outside integral sign. So this is equal to a times the integral of x to the n dx plus b times the integral of x to the m dx. Notice that n and m just simply imply that they don't have to be the same number, they can be two different numbers. And now we can apply the rule that we learned before. So we can say that this is equal to a times x to the n plus 1. We add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, n, n plus 1. And then we add a constant of integration. We'll call it c1 as a constant integration of the first integration. And then we do the same to the second one. So plus b times x to the m plus 1. We add 1 to the exponent and then divide by the new exponent, m plus 1. And then we also add a constant of integration, we'll call it c2, for that integral. And then you, can afford, then you can add c1 and c2 together because they're just any arbitrary constants. Add them together and simply say there's a constant at the end. So we can then write this as a times the x, a times x to n plus 1 exponent divided by n plus 1 plus b x to the m plus 1 over the new exponent m plus 1 plus a constant of integration and that's the integral of our polynomial like that. So we can see that all you can do, all you, what you can do is you can separate these, write a separate integral for each term in the polynomial, then move your constants outside integral sign and then use the power rule here. So to illustrate that, here's a couple of examples. Let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we can say this is equal to separating that into two integrals and moving the constants out. So this is three times the integral of x to the third power dx plus four times the integral of x squared dx. So we first separated the two uh, terms in the polynomial as two separate integrals and we move the constants forward outside the integral sign. Now we can go ahead and integrate. So this is equal to three x to the fourth power divided by four plus the constant of integration plus 4x cubed over 3 plus the constant of integration added the two constants together that becomes plus c and that's the integral of that particular polynomial. And then for another example, uh, doesn't matter the negative signs there, so this is equal to minus 2 times the integral of x squared dx plus 5 times the integral of x dx and minus 3 times the integral of dx and then we know how to integrate each one of those separately. So this becomes minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 5x squared over 2 minus 3x to the first power over 1, which we don't have to write. And don't forget the constant of integration, which is really the sum of the three constants we got from each of the three integrals. And that's how you integrate a polynomial.